In a place teeming with towering walls, here there are no barriers, only a boost. Put that foot up there. From a most unexpected source. Beautiful. That's Tom Shadiak. If you don't know his name, you definitely know his work. He directed some of Hollywood's biggest comedies, from Ace Ventura Alrighty then. to The Netty Professor. I cooked all this food. Is that all you gonna eat? Do you have a favorite? Believe it or not, they're all like your kids. How did you define success back then? My films have grossed nearly $2 billion. That would be success. Those doors flying open to me, that was success. But today, success looks a little different. His latest production, Memphis Rocks. More than just a climbing gym, there are study spaces, after school programs, and in the midst of a food desert, a healthy snack bar. And a simple rule, pay what you can. If you can't, volunteer. Nobody is turned away. During his Hollywood heyday, Tom realized he was longing for something deeper. There was a thousand tipping points. A slow walk into what I felt was a more authentic way to live. Eventually, he landed in a community called, of all things, Soulsville, a fitting start for a man searching for his. And that soul took hold of me, and I couldn't deny the power and the pulsing promise that was in all these kids that just needed a little energy, a little wind in their sails. When Tom bought the building, it was abandoned, built for a supermarket that never came in a neighborhood where crime is commonplace, but work is not. I'm curious how this was received, how you were received. Nuts. Uh -huh. People thought I was crazy. Why choose this sport? If, if we had put a basketball gym here, that's ubiquitous. Rock climbing in Memphis, there was no such thing. I walked these streets. Just a few blocks from the gym is the corner where Chris Dean's father was shot and killed. Chris was only four years old. Every day was like survival. How am I survive today? How am I get through, you know, this? Now, Chris works here almost every day. In two years, he has seen a lot of change on these streets and inside a different kind of transformation. First, when they see the wall, it's like, man, I'm afraid of heights. It's so much growth happened in this 20, 30 minutes, like you walking in the door, you leave here and you, it's an experience you want to happen again. How did you gain trust? You show up, the neighborhood and these kids, they they can feel authenticity. It's that connection that keeps people like Mike and Brittany coming back. Bring that left foot up. When you come in here, it's a new breath. You know, it like, is. you literally step in the door. And, it's a new Ooh. energy. Now remember, we're gonna use our feet. A safe space for even the most inexperienced of clients. That's it. One step at a time, on the wall and through life. Our saying here is we climb higher when we climb together. For Sunday Today, Blaine Alexander, Memphis, Tennessee.